to my channel. I hope you're all keeping super well. Today is Monday and it's actually about four o'clock so it is a bit of a late start to this couple of days in my life vlog. I haven't done much that's very exciting this morning. I did go for a nice run along the River X. That was really beautiful. There's like my favourite spot there. Um, but other than that, yeah, not really much of interest that you'd really want to watch. But I am going to make some mince pies this afternoon. So I've got a recipe called either mince pie pinwheels. I haven't decided on them or either just like some puff pastry classic round ones. But I did do some the other day which were like cinnamon swirl ones. I featured them in my wild swimming video. Yeah and some people just commented asking if I did make them. And yes if you do follow me on Instagram you'll see a few baking things on there. So I thought I'd do a little video of them as well today and then tomorrow we'll probably go for another walk somewhere but I haven't decided where yet. If you enjoy this video you know what to do please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already then come join the family and come on some more adventures. I'm afraid this isn't as adventurous as my last vlog but hey ho this will still be nice and a little bit more Christmassy I guess. Okay so I think I'm gonna do this recipe it seems really simple just the ready rolled puff pastry, some mincemeat, an egg to glaze, and some icing sugar for dusting. And it is pretty much, I guess, I just roll out the puff pastry, fill it with mincemeat, roll it into a log, and then slice it up. So that is what I'm gonna do now. I'll link it below if it goes well. <laughs> I do also wanna say a quick thank you so much for all the comments on my last vlog because I really did put some time in to that vlog and just really appreciated everyone's lovely comments. Thanks guys and any new, uh, new subscribers maybe? Hi and thanks. Oh I love mincemeat, oh my gosh. Yum. I know mincemeat is not for everybody. I absolutely love it and yeah, it's probably mince pies are one of my favourite Christmas food, other than sausages um, with bacon, pigs and blankets. Mm. Okay, I think I left the pastry out a little bit too long, so I popped it into the fridge just to chill a little bit longer. And then we'll see. It was quite messy, not as, not as simple as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it was very simple as baking goes, but yeah, a little bit messy. So, fingers crossed, let's just hope that in 20 minutes they're okay. It is now nearly 8 p.m. and I got carried away with these and they are delicious, hands down, better than the other cinnamon swirl things I did the other day and much, much easier. So yeah, highly recommend doing them. I'll link below the recipe as well for you guys. Um, and now I'm gonna probably munch on one of these after my prawn stir fry and watch I'm a Celebrity because I have been watching it religiously every day. I love it. I think it is a great entertainment, especially for these pre-dull evenings that are going on at the moment. Catch you tomorrow, which is Tuesday. morning everybody it is tuesday and i'm about to head out for a good hike across dartmoor i'm thinking of going to hound tour i have done that walk before but i really like it and i know there's a stream that i really just want to sit at that's what i'm gonna do um yesterday i was very anxious so i went for my run um but the key was just it was so busy um so i am gonna take the time, just pack up my bag and just drive to Dartmoor over the hills um, for a good walk and some fresh air. So probably no wild swimming is in store. The stream is very, very small. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go and pack a mince pie because they're really good and head on 
off. Yeah, let's go. I don't know if I mentioned where I was going, but I'm at Hound Tour, the one next to Hay Tour. I've never actually been to Hay Tour, but I've done Hound Tour before. And the reason I like it is there's a really nice stream that I'm going to go to. And also there's a 13th century medieval village. I say that, it's just the remains and some rock, but it's really quite cool to have a little look around. And quite frankly, I kind of know this walk, so thought it was kind of an easy one to get some fresh air and not get too lost and such so yeah I have already seen a fair amount of Dartmoor ponies ah oh, I'm not even a horsey person but the ponies are just oh they make you feel like you're you're in Dartmoor you know ah oh. about Dartmoor letterboxes. I had no idea what this is about, but you look for a plastic container with a rubber stamp and a little message, and you basically fill it in as well. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go on the hunt. Here it is. Oh, and two, there's another one here too. Oh, let's get writing. And do this without slipping on this mud. When you are at Hound Tour, go behind it and then you can follow the path down. It is quite, you, you, you can see it, you can see it, but then it does drift off. Um, I've taken the left part just to show the village and then I'll go back inwards and then down. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, hopefully I don't get lost. I don't think I will. There's a couple of people out, not many. Anyway, let me show you what was a medieval village. I mean, their view was pretty phenomenal, right? Look at that. that you'd find in like a little fairy tale it is oh, just listen
I think I've got the biggest blister on my foot and it's the one with my proper hiking socks on. What is going on there? Aww. Anyway, I'm gonna head on back home. It's about half one. Um, so yeah, it kind of feels a lot later than that, but it is only half one. Gonna see if I can go and say hi to the ponies and then, hmm, not sure what to do for the rest of the day. See where it takes us, eh? only half two. I think I'm gonna have a cup of tea, have my mince pie, that's actually in my bag, and oh I don't know, just sleep maybe. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so tired, fresh air eh, that's what it does to you. So I think I'm gonna call it quits here, you don't really need to watch me make another cup of tea. So thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, not super exciting but just a few you know nice highlights I guess so thank you all for watching please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you all in the next vlog soon bye bye, -bye.